Welcome to the Applied Biosystems Tech Talk video series, where we break down real-time PCR to make it easier for you. The type of analysis you choose for real-time PCR data depends on the question you want to ask. Because the analysis method directly impacts experimental design, including sample and control selection, assay number, and plate setup, it's important to understand the different types of data analysis before you begin. So let's talk about the analysis options for common research questions. If you want to know the full change in expression of your target gene, then relative quantification, or RQ, is for you. In an RQ analysis, the qPCR software determines the target quantity in a test sample by calculating the change in gene expression relative to a reference sample. For example, in a study of drug effects on gene expression, an untreated control sample serves as a reference for treated samples. You can perform RQ analysis using the comparative CT method, also known as the delta-delta CT, or relative standard curve method. Either way, you'll need at least two assays, an assay for one target and an endogenous control to normalize the data, and at least one test sample and a reference sample. If the target and endogenous control assay efficiencies are comparable, use comparative CT. In this method, the normalized delta CT for the test sample is compared to the normalized delta CT for the reference sample. If your assays have suboptimal PCR efficiencies, you'll be better off using a relative standard curve. Once the data is analyzed, you can view your full change or relative quantification data as plots or RQ values. Suppose you were asking how many copies of my target are present in this sample to determine viral load. In that case, you'll want to perform absolute quantification. Also known as standard curve analysis, it is the standard curve method for absolute quantification. It's similar to the standard curve method for relative quantification, except the absolute quantities of the standards must first be known. The software generates a standard curve that's used to interpolate the total quantity of target in the samples. What about genotyping analysis? Let's say you want to differentiate between gene alleles. Then you'll want to perform SNP genotyping analysis. For SNP genotyping, you'll need two allele-specific probes, each labeled with a unique fluorescent reporter dye. Genotyping software analyzes the fluorescence signal from each probe in a well and algorithmically clusters the normalized reporter data on an allelic discrimination plot. It then assigns a genotype to the samples in each cluster. Another type of genotyping analysis is copy number variation, or CNV analysis. In CNV analysis, two assays are multiplexed in a single reaction well. One is a reference assay and the other is the target assay. In addition to the test samples, CNV analysis also requires a calibrator sample with a known copy number. We offer free specialized software for CNV analysis that uses a sophisticated algorithm to perform comparative CT analysis and call copy numbers for samples with confidence values. What if you just want to know if a specific target sequence is present in a sample, yes or no? For example, maybe you're testing environmental samples for particular microbes. In that case, you can do a presence-absence analysis. The software uses algorithms and user-defined rules to generate presence-absence calls based on your experimental setup and analysis settings. You may have noticed that software plays a key role in qPCR analysis. We're here to help. Check out our suite of cloud-based applications on Thermo Fisher Connect or visit thermofisher.com slash qPCR software for all your data analysis needs. While the ins and outs of data analysis are too detailed for this style of talk, you can always find step-by-step -step instructions in the Applied Biosystems qPCR analysis software help menu. Just click the question mark icon in the menu bar. 
Check out more Applied Biosystems Tac Talk videos on our website at thermofisher.com slash tac talk. Thank you.